Okay, so in this video, we're gonna learn a little bit about stereoisomers. So before we go into this particular topic here, I just wanted to review what a um, constitutional isomer means. So we have here three metal pentane and two metal pentane. So both has the same molecular formula, both has the formula C6H14. However, the connectivity are placed in a different carbon. This is in carbon number three, this is in carbon number two. So uh, constitutional isomers are related with the idea that we have the same molecular formula, but the connectivity is different, like in this particular case. The stereoisomer, it's um, related with the idea that the connectivity are the same. In this particular example that I have here, both are connected to one, two carbon. So this is the one, two dimethyl cyclo, uh, uh, propane. This is the one, two dimethyl cyclopropane. However, the arrangement in the space is a little bit different. This guy here, we have one pointing down, the other one pointing up, while here both are pointing up. So stereoisomers are related with the idea that um, the connectivity are the same, both are in carbons one and two, one and two. However, the arrangement in the space is a little bit different. This guy is pointing down while this is pointing up and both here is pointing up. Um, so here we can start arriving the idea about cis and trans. Because one is down, the other one is up, I can call this as a trans. And this would be my cis. Both up or both down. So cis and trans is one example of stereoisomers. So what can we know about stereoisomers? If I look the heat of combustion, remember the heat of combustion is when I have my organic compound and I have O2 making CO2 plus H2O. It's a uh, exothermic reaction, so energy is released. If I look my particular uh, organic compound, if I have this as my organic compound and this as my organic compound, I will see that the trans is more stable than the cis. Um, and a lot of students, they have the idea that stereoisomers, the trans is always more stable than the cis. So I have this two here, I got my model kit and I just draw these two guys here, this being the cis and this being the trans and this the trans. And I just wanted to emphasize that uh, not always my trans would be more stable than my cis. Um, in this particular example, because I have some sterics going on here, my cis will be least stable compared to my trans where the steric is not going on, it's not happening in this particular case. So when we're talking about stereoisomers, we can remember the idea about cis and trans and we can also derive the, the idea about heat of combustion. However, in order to assign what one is the most stable, is my trans or my cis, we needed to look if um, we need to look equatorial and axial positions. So I have here a particular example. In this case, we know that the trans are more stable than the cis. Because of the sterics that is going on on here, as I showed in this particular example. See, we have some sterics going on on here. While on here, we do not have it. So let's look another example. I have on here my um, trans mm, no I don't want this particular position I want it on here three okay and I have here and here. Okay, so here I have both metal points down, while here I have one down and one up. 
So I know this is a trans. I know this is the cis. And I know that these two guys are related because they are, they are stereoisomers. So in order to assign what one is more stable, what one um, uh, is more stable, I need to check how many equatorial position I have for this one here. So in the case of the cis, I have one, two equatorial positions. While in this trance, I have one equatorial one axial. Therefore, because I have more equatorial positions with, associated with my cis, I know this is the most stable of these two particular stereoisomers. So, just a review, stereoisomers are related with the idea of they have the same connectivity, but the arrangement in a, sp in a space is placed differently. And we needed to remember that cis and trans is one example of stereoisomers. And we cannot assume that every time we have a trans and a cis, the trans is more stable. In order to assign what one is more stable, we needed to put everything in our um, chair confirmation and then check what has more equatorial uh, positions. Is the cis or is the trans? Once I assign what one has more equatorial positions, I know by definition that the one that has more equatorial positions is the most stable stereoisomer.